The master to inspire this week's painting is Maurice Dennis. He was a French painter, writer, and decorative artist who lived between the years 1870 and 1943. The inspirational art of Maurice Dennis go beyond surface colors and forms to emphasize on motivating values. He uses contrasting warm and cool colors to depict landscapes, portraits, and mythic or religious scenes. The beauty in his artwork stands above all, which sets his artistic style apart from the other artists of his times. Dennis expresses love and faith as the essence of his paintings. He sees art as the inspiring thought that can manifest beauty in our lives. His paintings have a quality described in the marvelous beauty of flowers, of light, and in the proportion of trees and shapes of waves, as well as the perfection of faces. The figures in the paintings of Dennis seem to be isolated and floating within the canvas. Themes of love, the idealized woman, faith, and children all take on substantial role in his inspirational paintings. Dennis emphasizes the spiritual content of his art by painting dreamlike colors and graceful and delicate figures. In his inspirational art, he abandons the post-impressionist concern with naturalistic recreation of visual sensation in favor of vibrant colors and figurative abstraction to capture the sensual and emotional content of his subjects. To him, art before anything else is decorative and enlightening. He uses pure colors and makes the composition of paintings two-dimensional in order to reinforce decorative features of the painting. Dennis believed that what is naked is beautiful because it is pure and uncorrupted. In many of his canvases, nudity suggests a pure primal condition of humanity. Maurice Dennis was born in Granville, France. He studied art at the École de Beaux-Arts and later Académie Julian. During his early years in Paris, he became interested in the works of Paul Gauguin. As a result, his paintings took on the mystical quality which exemplifies his mature works. Dennis was also inspired by Japanese woodblock artists and the pre-Raphaelites. He developed his unique style from combining these sources. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Dennis received several important religious and civic commissions in Paris, including several altar pieces and ceiling mural paintings. He died of injuries resulting from a car accident in 1943. Although by the end of his life, Dennis was known as one of the most respected art critics in Europe, today he is generally regarded as the last great French painter still awaiting rediscovery. <laughs>